This type of question is very frequently asked in the IGCSE Chemistry Paper 6 exam. Being provided with sulfuric acid and zinc powder, these are your reactants. In addition, you have been provided with copper powder as your catalyst. I will start by measuring a fixed volume of sulfuric acid using my pipette. I'm going to mix the sulfuric acid with the measured mass of zinc powder. Using a gas syringe and a stopwatch, I'll find the volume of hydrogen produced per minute. Then I'll repeat the same experiment with the same quantities but this time I'm going to add a fixed mass of copper powder. Once I'm done I'm going to filter out the copper. I'm going to rinse it and then I'm going to dry it in an oven. I'll weigh its mass. Since copper here is a catalyst then the mass of copper should remain constant because catalysts don't get used up during the chemical reaction. So here's the procedure once again. I'll first measure 25 cm cubed of sulfuric acid using a pipette. Then I'll mix with fixed mass of zinc powder. I will find the rate of reaction by measuring the volume of hydrogen gas produced over time using a stopwatch and a gas syringe. And then I'll repeat the exact same method. This time I'm going to add fixed mass of copper powder. Finally, to prove that copper is a catalyst, I'll reweigh the mass of copper. The mass of copper should remain unchanged. In addition, the rate of reaction should be faster, so more volume of hydrogen produced per units of time.